This video is all about the best NVIDIA settings for gaming to help you get maximum FPS and the smoothest gameplay possible. Before using these tweaks, my performance was inconsistent, but after applying them, my FPS became stable and gameplay felt way smoother. These settings work on any PC with an NVIDIA GPU, so make sure to watch till the end. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like to support the channel. Channel. So guys, before applying any NVIDIA settings, the very first step is to clear your old NVIDIA cache files. This removes outdated shader and driver data that can cause stuttering, delayed frame rendering, or FPS drops. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box, then type percent local app data percent and press Enter. When the local app data folder opens, go back one step to the main app data directory. From there, open the local low folder. Inside it, you'll find a folder named NVIDIA. Open it and then delete the cache folder entirely. This process ensures that any old, corrupted, or unnecessary shader data is removed. The next time you launch a game, your GPU will automatically rebuild a fresh, optimized cache. All right, guys, when it comes to achieving the best gaming performance with NVIDIA, the most important tool you'll need is the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. You can download it directly from the official source. Once installed, open the Profile Inspector and select the specific game you want to optimize. For this guide, we'll use Fortnite as an example, but you can choose any title you play most. This method ensures that all optimizations apply only to that particular game, keeping your global settings untouched while delivering peak performance where it truly matters. Start by adjusting the sync and refresh settings. Turn off every G-Sync related option, including application mode, application request date, and global features. Disabling G-Sync prevents your GPU from waiting on the monitor to sync frames, which can cause slight delays and micro stutters. With these options off, your GPU focuses purely on pushing frames as fast as your hardware allows, reducing input lag and delivering smoother, more responsive gameplay. Next, set maximum pre-rendered frames to one. This tells your CPU to prepare only one frame in advance, making your input feel much more immediate. You'll notice faster mouse and keyboard response, especially in competitive titles. This works best with at least a mid-range processor, such as a Ryzen 5 or Intel Core i5, to maintain consistent frame pacing. Under the preferred refresh rate, always choose the highest available for your monitor. This ensures your GPU outputs frames at the maximum your display can handle, providing smoother motion and minimizing screen tearing. Combine this with vertical sync, V-Sync, set to off for optimal performance, unless you're gaming on a 60 or 75 Hertz display. Disabling V-Sync removes the input lag caused by synchronization, letting your frame rate exceed your refresh rate for the most responsive experience. For anti-aliasing, make sure the following options are configured properly. FXAA, off. MFAA, off. Transparency. Multi-sampling, disabled. Super sampling, off. Anti-aliasing mode, override any application setting. Gamma correction, on. These changes remove unnecessary GPU strain without heavily compromising visuals. You'll gain noticeable FPS improvements while maintaining clear image quality, especially during fast action scenes. Next, fine tune texture filtering. Turn on texture filter optimization and sample optimization and set anisotropic filtering to off. These settings reduce GPU workload when processing in-game textures, allowing smoother frame delivery with minimal visual difference. This balance keeps your FPS stable, even in graphically intense areas. 
under the quality section, choose high performance mode, and leave LOD bias as default. This prioritizes speed and stability over visual fidelity, helping demanding games run more consistently. Expect fewer frame drops and less stutter during complex scenes. Finally, configure a few critical system level settings for maximum efficiency. Set power management mode to prefer maximum performance, adjust shader cache size to 10 gigabytes, and leave threaded optimization on auto. These ensure your GPU stays at full clock speeds, shaders are preloaded to prevent stutter, and all CPU cores are used effectively. Now that we've optimized the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, it's time to fine tune the NVIDIA Control Panel settings to squeeze out every bit of performance your system can offer. Start by searching NVIDIA Control Panel in the Windows search bar and opening it. Once inside, navigate to Adjust Image Settings with Preview. Select Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings, then click Take Me There. This gives you full control over all 3D settings for maximum customization. The first setting to adjust is image scaling. Turn this off. While it's designed to upscale lower resolutions, it rarely provides meaningful FPS gains. If you want smoother performance, lowering your in-game re in resolution is a better approach. For the best balance between clarity and speed, leave image scaling disabled. Next is ambient occlusion. This feature adds soft shadow effects but consumes unnecessary GPU resources. Keep it off to avoid wasting performance on subtle shadow details you won't notice during fast gameplay. For anisotropic filtering, set it globally to 16 by. Unlike most graphical settings, this one sharpens textures at a distance without affecting frame rates. It's one of the few settings that improves visual clarity with almost no performance cost, so it's worth keeping enabled. Now, let's go over anti-aliasing settings, FXAA, Fast Approximate Anti-Aliasing, disable it. FXAA can make visuals appear blurry and soft. Anti-aliasing gamma, correction, turn this off since most modern games already handle gamma correction accurately. Anti-aliasing mode, set to application controlled, letting each game manage anti-aliasing based on its own engine. Anti-aliasing transparency, disable this as well. It slightly improves edge smoothness on transparent textures, but uses extra GPU power with minimal visual gain. Next, enable background application max frame rate and set the cap to 30 FPS. This prevents background programs from using unnecessary resources while you're all tabbed out of your game. Under CUDA GPUs, if you have only one GPU, leave it on all. For multi-GPU setups, select your primary NVIDIA GPU to prevent performance inconsistencies. Keep the CUDA system fallback policy at driver default and make sure DSR factors are disabled to avoid unintended scaling. When it comes to low latency mode, set it to on instead of ultra. While ultra sounds appealing, it can sometimes cause stutter. The on setting gives you lower input lag without compromising frame stability, which is perfect for competitive play. Keep max frame rate disabled and instead limit your FPS through the in-game settings or a frame limiter tool. This provides smoother frame pacing and better synchronization. Disable MFAA, multi-frame sampled AA, as it's largely unnecessary and can reduce performance on some setups. For OpenGL GDI compatibility, leave it on auto. Then under OpenGL rendering GPU, Manually select your dedicated NVIDIA GPU instead of auto select. This ensures your system always uses the correct GPU for gaming tasks. Next, set power management mode to prefer maximum performance. 
This stops the GPU from lowering its clock speed, maintaining consistent high performance throughout your gaming sessions. For shader cache size, avoid using the driver default option. Instead, choose a size between 1GB and 5GB, depending on your available storage. This helps minimize stuttering by storing pre-compiled shaders for faster access. Under Texture Filtering, configure the following. Texture Filtering Quality Choose performance if you want higher FPS or quality if you prefer slightly sharper visuals. Avoid high performance or high quality as they can create minor visual or stability issues. Threaded Optimization Set to Auto so the driver can manage it according to each game's requirements. You can safely turn triple buffering off as it mainly affects older OpenGL titles. For Vertical Sync VSync, select Use the 3D Application setting. If you experience its green tearing, enable VSync inside the game instead of forcing it through the control panel. If you play in VR, set Virtual Reality Pre-Rendered Frames to one for minimal latency. Otherwise, you can leave this alone. Also, set Vulkan Present Method to Auto for best compatibility with Vulkan-based titles. Finally, go to Configure Surround PhysX and ensure that PhysX processor is set to your NVIDIA GPU, not your CPU. This allows the GPU to handle physics calculations like debris, smoke, and explosions, freeing up your CPU for other tasks. Once everything is configured, click Apply at the bottom. Your screen might flicker briefly, but that's normal. After that, your new NVIDIA control panel settings will be locked in and ready to deliver maximum gaming performance. That's it for today's video. If these NVIDIA settings help boost your FPS, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you don't miss the next one.